Sri Lanka's most powerful news brand. The reports compiled by the Presidential Commissions of Inquiry on bond issuances and large-scale fraud and corruption were tabled in Parliament today. Speaker Karujai Sure informed the House allegations raised that pages and chapters of the Bond Commission report are missing a baseless. The central bank transaction clearly indicates the involvement of the relevant ministers, especially the involvement of the Prime Minister and the central bank governor and the failure of the officials at the central bank. So taking all these matters into consideration and the over 8.5 billion rupee loss caused the Employees Provident Fund, it is only the Attorney General's Department, the legal system and the Commission to investigate allegations of bribery or corruption who have the provisional powers in taking legal action against them. Now we are well aware of the recent conduct of the Attorney General's Department and the Bribery Commission. They have been under severe political interference. So we do not have to stick to the myth that an institution which is politically subdued has to hand on punishments to those very politicians. Honorable Speaker, this is like asking the thief's mother if her son committed the crime. But we never saw this actually happen firsthand. Today, however, it has been revealed through the Bond Commission how the thief's mother is being questioned for her son's crimes. The leader of the house does not have to panic. Some of the criminals are not here today. I have to say this by looking them in the eye. So these reports have to be discussed in Parliament before the 10th of February. An issue rose concerning the number of pages in this report. Certain factions said that they've received this document and since they have, some of the details in it have been tampered with. There is no need for a debate on this. The President's office had sent this document to the Central Bank, the Attorney General's Department and then here. The Secretary to the President told me it wasn't given to anyone else. So saying something like this is wrong. Speaker, are you certain that all the pages in this report are here? I can be certain about one thing, Honorable MP. The copy I received from the President's office was distributed as it was. The President's office also informed me that this is the exact same report which they received from the Commission. So I can give you that assurance and you have to accept it. Who will take responsibility if something in it changes? It costs around 4 million rupees to convene one session of Parliament. This is the people's money. So without dragging this on, I call on you to study this report and submit a full report confirming if there are any shortcomings. We have no issue in accepting this, but by any chance, if something additional to this report is exposed, it is not you who should be accountable for it, but the Secretary to the President. In that case, the Secretary to the President has to be summoned to Parliament on the charge of misleading Parliament. Parliament, can we? Then, 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 then